today's outcrop of the day is another beautiful example of an epithermal vein outcropping on the shoreline of South Korea. This is the famous Tongyong vein. It's an intermediate sulfidation vein and it had very high gold, very high silver and some copper. It has some beautiful banded coliform crustiform textures and a lot of these black bands you can see here are manganese oxides after rhodochrosite. In this fresh piece here you can still see some of the rhodochrosite bands in between the quartz bands. A lot of it is a breccia and you can see that these are the fragments with infill of bands of quartz and rhodochrosite now gone to manganese oxides. This vein was mined up until the late 1970s in a pit that's up the top of the hill there and some underground workings beneath us. As you can see there's still some vein outcropping on the shoreline here but there's a problem. As you can see, any future mine development would be quite an issue. But this is just another example of the amazing epithermal vein systems that are outcropping in South Korea. And who knows how many more there are, particularly up in the hilly areas which are completely unpopulated.